Have you ever wondered how robots in the future may see our world? Professor Andrew Davison is the director of the Dyson Robotics Lab at Imperial. He and his team are developing the underpinning technology that will push forward the robotic vision of the future. Robots need to see if they're going to be able to move beyond the, the relatively fixed environments like factories that they've worked successfully in up to now and move into the, the more day-to-day -day complex real world. So a setting such as a house is surprisingly complicated, challenging, there's a lot of variety, there's a lot of unpredictable things that could happen. So a robot's going to need a powerful vision system if it's going to be able to understand that space well enough to do intelligent things within it. Dr. Stefan Lutenegger is the deputy director of the center. He explained in more detail about the technology. Elastic Fusion is a computer program that could enable a robot in future to figure out where it is in an environment that it hasn't seen before. So it's using what we call a depth camera that comes with a color image as well as it actually sees the distance to the environment and turns that into a very watertight, very dense kind of 3D map of the environment and then it simultaneously localizes this camera within this environment. It alternates two steps. It uh, first of all fuses the uh, depth and color image into a map and then in a second step in the tracking it tries to find the position and orientation of the camera by aligning what it sees with what the maps look like. And then what we also do is we can detect errors that accumulate over time, inconsistencies in the map, and realign the map such that it says consistent over time. And this is being done by bending the whole map around continuously such that it matches. We have a system now which can capture rather detailed geometry of a scene in a very efficient way but that geometry is still rather meaningless so really important steps going forward are to bring in elements such as object recognition such that this geometry really acquires meaning and that would enable a robot to actually do useful things so imagine a robot that was tasked with clearing a table it would come up to this table it would capture 3d information about it but then it, if it could actually also assign meaning recognize all the different sorts of objects that were present and put those all into the global context of this 3d map that it's built then it would really be ready to interact with that scene know what to do with each type of object and carry out a task 